presented by Turkish Airlines, Spalding, and Intersport. In the show, the game of the week showdown between two big men, Dior Fischer and Johannes Borosis. We meet two great young talents, Daniel Hackett and Nemanja Bjelica. The Art of Shooting with Ricky Minard and Martinez Gecevicius. And as always, we enjoy the B-Win MVP of Round 7 and the top three plays. Real Madrid, coached by Pablo Lazo, is dominating Group B in the first part of the regular season. In addition to having always won, they are also the most prolific team, with an average of more than 92 points per game so far. And they have also the best shooting percentages from the two-point range and from distance. It's not very important in this time to how many points they score. Uh, the points and the score, the run and the offense, they come from defense. You play very great defense. Everybody, all the players, they give uh, 100% uh, uh, to play good defense. That's why they make uh, so big scoring uh, this time. They have won by more than 19 points in all seven of their victories, thanks also to the weight and inches of Ioannis Borosis under the basket. I have to make two, three jobs in the court inside when I come inside to play. Uh, to go for a facing rebound, to play hard in defense. Also to try to play in low post. Uh, the coach, they give me the free to, sh to shoot some three points at. Uh, and if I score uh, the first, for sure I sc uh, shoot the second. So if I miss, I stop. <laughs> In the last game, Real Madrid flew to Bamberg to face Broza Baskets. Dior Fischer, the American center back in EuroLeague after a season, was making his debut for the hosts against the team he played for in the 2010-2011 season. I'm just so anxious to play and, uh, you know, get that get that rhythm, that feeling of, you know, with the tough competition coming back into this play. In Germany, Dior seems to have settled down immediately, thanks also to the passionate fans. I've only been here for two days, but the moment that I walked in, um, you could feel you could feel the energy, the atmosphere. The atmosphere is, uh, you know, very good. Um, everyone welcomed me here, so I'm just excited to get out here on the court. I don't think it's going to be a special night. I think we're going to treat this game like, you know, any other game. We need a win. Um, we're we're at home, um, even though we're playing one of the best teams in Europe. We can't look. We can't think about any of that. Uh, we just got to come out here and do what we know we can do to try to get this win. Rosa Basket started the game with no fear. The first quarter was very tough for both teams. the game wore on, Madrid accelerated to a 17-point lead. Rosa's pride was at stake and Dior Fischer started the comeback to take the home team to just three points off the lead. Led by Nikola Mirotic, top scorer with 20 points, the Spanish champions continued their unbeaten streak and claimed their seventh win in as many games by 69-89. Having moved to Kiev from Bejiktas JK Istanbul, Ricky Minard has quickly become one of the stars of Budivenik Kiev. Guard, whose main features are his strength and athleticism on the court. 
this will be Minard's 12th club, which means he is one of the most experienced players around. He has always searched for teams that needed a player with his characteristics. Um, you just have to find where you fit in. Um, once you get to a team, you have to figure out what you can do to make that team better. And that's the job of a player, to make a team better. In order to settle in properly, it's important to understand one thing immediately. Where they're struggling, there's a reason people bring in new players, to try and change sceneries. So you have to figure out where the team needs help and where you can help them. And that's usually how you gel well, by communicating with the coach and with your teammates. It isn't easy moving all the time with a family of six, but discovering new cities is a good experience. I have four children and a wife. They like to see different things. My wife likes to travel, so it's, it's fun. I mean, it's, it's a good time to be able to see the world. Just blessed, man, to be able to play basketball and to see different places. But changing European cities so often can create problems. Us going from place to place, sometimes you don't know the language, sometimes you don't know the difference in foods or things like that. So that's sometimes difficult for us, but we manage. We've been here for, this is my 10th year now, so we manage. And even adjusting on the court is not always a given. New tactics, new defenses, and different ways to interpret the rules. And the referees, <laughs> no disrespect to them, but every country has a different way of making calls or the physicality of the game. So sometimes it's difficult. Friday night, Budivelnik Kiev hosted Seska Moscow, looking for the third straight win. The home team were leading 59-58 thanks to Minard's steal and basket at the end of the third quarter. The game was decided in the last 10 minutes where Karl Heinz scored 10 of his team-high 18 points. Milos Teodosic was also on fire in the crucial moments, scoring 8 of his 10 points in the final 6 minutes. Seska Moscow won 74-82 and improved to 5-2 in Group A and secured a spot in the top 16. One of the reasons Fenerbahce Ulker Istanbul have started so well this season is Nemanja Bjelica, one of the most versatile players in the tournament. Rebounding, passing, shooting, and ball handling. At 2.09 meters tall, he plays as a small forward, but can also play in more than one position. The fact that he started playing at such a young age made things so much easier for him. I was born like this, you know. I started to play basketball when I was seven years old. This is uh, like talent when you when you're born for something. But everyone knows that talent alone is not enough. Last year I, I was uh, I was working for my uh, dribble, how to make better dribbling in transition, also to run in transition to shoot the ball. Uh, I work like uh, every day. I want to improve this year uh, some pick and roll games, but I have time for this. A young Nemanja took inspiration from one of the biggest legends in the Euroleague and of Serbian basketball. A world-class player that had a rare touch for someone of his height. 
When I was young, my idol was Dan Bodiraga. I like to, to watch uh, his games to, to, to try to, to, to make something. Of course, I cannot, I cannot be like Bodiraga. Nobody uh, cannot be like him. Player Bielica really established himself internationally in 2008. And once again, he was inspired by another star of Serbian basketball, although this time that man was sitting on the bench. Coach Svetislav Pešić, he gave me opportunity to play like a point guard, and I think that was um, the biggest step and the most important step in my professional career. So without Pešić, I'm not here. From both Dejan Bodiraga and Svetislav Pesic, he learnt the most important lesson in basketball, that the team always comes first. I cannot say that I don't like to score, but if I can choose between uh, points and assists, I will always choose assists because I like to play for the team, I like to create for for other, other players because I can do this very good, so, uh, but also I like to shoot three points. This week Nemanja travelled to Spain to face FC Barcelona in one of the most fascinating matches of the Turkish Airlines Euroleague and he was once again one of the top performers on the court with 20 points. However, Bastian Nakbar and FC Barcelona were unstoppable. The forward was the main factor in the important win over the previously undefeated Group A leaders Fenerbahce Ulker Istanbul sealing the Blaugrana's qualification to the top 16. The veteran Slovenian scored 23 points, evenly distributed between two-pointers and three-pointers, and was almost perfect from the line. On top of that, he went close to a double-double with nine rebounds. The seven fouls received the assist and the block assured him a performance index rating of 31 in 32 minutes. In his first season as forward for FC Barcelona, Nachbar is the B-Win MVP of Round 7. Let's find out more about two superstars of the Turkish Airlines Euroleague, Mike Batiste and Antonis Fotsis, three-time winners with Panathinaikos Athens, who for once, instead of using the ball, decided to use the microphone. Lights, camera, action! Hello, this is Mike Batiste with Euroleague Basketball, interviewing Adani Fossi, a.k.a. Bumias. Fossi. Who dunks better, me or you? You. So you are better than dunker than me. Who is your best uh, dressed teammate and why? Papas, he always likes to wear the pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> Who is your favorite Euroleague uh, player to watch? Mike Batiste. Oh. Five, uh, how many is that? One more, one more, okay, okay. one more. This is exclusive. Uh, what is your favorite uh, Euroleague city and why? Uh, I believe Moscow is very nice. Oh, now I see why you stay out in the cold weather sometimes, huh? Yes, to take some fresh air. Huh, not bad. Then it was the turn of the Greek Antonis to put the questions to his friend Mike with an amusing finale. What is better, to practice in the morning or in the evening, and why? In the evening, and because in the morning I'm a walking zombie and I don't like morning practice at all. I think better in the night as well. I'm a vampire. And uh, we have one of your teammates over here who says you are a thief. Why is he calling you a thief? 
a very difficult question, but uh, last time I, I played here, I wore number eight. I left, he wore number eight. So we had a, a dilemma and uh, I came back and uh, I had to get my number back. What is the funniest thing you have seen on a basketball court? Two uh, teammates running the opposite way in the game. And I was one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like it was a, uh, where the hell are we playing at, man? It was a jump ball. We started running the other way, man. And you, can you imagine a ah, You're not in the game. Nah, from the first second. Nah. And that is all for your league basketball. From rookie to leader in just 12 months, this is the unlikely career path of Daniel Hackett. In fact, Daniel, who was born in Italy where his father was playing in the 80s, went from 7.2 points per game to 14.5 and from 3 to 5.3 assists in his second Turkish Airlines EuroLeague campaign, becoming a key figure at Montepaschi Siena. As a rookie in, uh, in EuroLeague, um, it was important to make a statement and uh, play with confidence right away and I think uh, that, I, that I proved that I can play against um, any team in Europe and uh, this year will be important for me as a, as a second year and uh, experienced guy. After college and the first Italian experiences in Treviso and Pesaro, playing in the EuroLeague was a dream come true. Euroleague was uh, just as I imagined, um, a tough league, um, great players uh, everywhere. Everywhere you travel, you have great crowds and uh, a lot of a lot of fans watching games, and um, and also you get to play against the best players in Europe, which is a, a big plus for me as a young player. A great adventure and an unforgettable season, although it could have been even better. It was an exciting season for us. Um, we had a great run going into the top 16. Um, we played great teams like uh, Maccabi, uh, Olympiacos and Barcelona. And um, we won five straight games in the top 16 and we, we came close to make the playoffs, so one game away, I think. Actually, one shot short because we lost on a, on a last second uh, here at home against Olympiacos. And, that gave them the pass to go to the playoff and uh, took us out of the playoff run. Um, I don't think it was disappointing for our fans because they, they saw the way that we fought. Uh, we had a great run, but uh, for us players it was, it was real tough. Daniel is a consummate professional and he has high moral standards. The loyalty, um, we had a, a great season winning everything uh, we could win in Italy. And um, I know a lot of teams were pursuing me in the summer, but I wanted to respect the contract and also uh, have a chance to have a, a team built around me so I can grow as a, as a EuroLeague point guard, uh, have even more experience and uh, play, play more minutes and uh, um, play those minutes that uh, were really big going into the, the top 16 and the playoffs and try to bring my team uh, to the promised land as a, as a leader. Daniel was once again the leader of his team, reaching a performance index rating of 29 against FC Bayern Munich on Friday night. The point guard earned a fantastic double-double with 15 points and 10 assists. His performance helped Montepaschi win their second game of the season, following an intense game where the German team were always snapping at the heels of the Italian champions. Spencer Nelson for Siena and Malcolm Delaney for Bayern followed Hackett as top scorers. 
The final score was 71-62, which leaves Group C very close indeed. Martinez Gechevichus may be just 25 years of age, yet everybody knows and appreciates him as if he were a veteran. Perhaps the reason for this is because he has won so much. From the Euro Cup in 2008-2009 to the last two Turkish Airlines Euroleagues. He seems to have been around forever. However, his hunger for success is as big as ever. You always want to win. It doesn't matter if you win two, three or ten titles, you know, every year you, you want to win it. Okay, I come back now to, to Rita, so I want to win again the Lithuanian League because this club didn't win like last three years, uh, Jalgiris won it, so I want to win this uh, title again and to see what we can do in Euroleague. You know? A champion like him knows exactly what it takes to create a winning formula within a team. When he had good, good team chemistry, we are good in the locker room, good in, uh, in practice, good in the games. Anyway, we go out uh, like together like a team, so we play better. That helps a lot. So when you have uh, like more individual players, you, are, uh, you have more problems like to, to play good basketball. After so many experiences and triumphs, one would be inclined to think he would ask for more space in the team, more playing time, but not Martinez. At least, this is not his first request. Of course, I want a bigger uh, player role. Uh, I come to, to this team to play more, but uh, for me, most important thing is to, to win, you know, to win titles, to win games. So I'm kind of, I treat myself like a team player, not like uh, selfish or uh, individual a lot. So for me, most important is to win, because when you win, everybody is happy and it's good for, uh, for everybody. Last October, Martinez was one of the key players in Lietovos Ritas' victory in the Turkish Airlines Euroleague qualifying round by netting 14 triples of his 23 attempts. And in this case also, he was always put in the team first. It was good shots, you know, good team play, good for me, you know, they passed, I was open, they passed to me, I had good days, you know, and we played just to win, so it was great for us and... Uh, we, we are not like only three-point shooters, you know, we play all around basketball. It is a dream come true for him to return home to his town and club after the two unforgettable seasons in Greece. I'm very happy to be, to be home, to play in my city, you know, because I'm from Vilnius, so with these fans, I love, I love this club, I love this city, and it's great for me. Martinez was the leading actor in the brilliant start last Thursday against Lokomotiv Kuban Krasnodar, reaching an eight-point advantage after the first period. Then the Russian team turned the game around completely and eventually won their sixth game, confirming their leadership of Group D. And now, check out the top three plays of the week. Number three, Kaunas, Lithuania, final seconds of the game. Justin Dentman of Zalgadis drives and banks in the go-ahead shot. Number two, Kiev, Ukraine. Ricky Minard of Budivelnik goes for a layup. But Kyle Hines denies him with a chase down block. And for 
number one player for week, Istanbul, Turkey, Jamon Gordon of Anadolu FS collects for steel and wows the home crowd with a 360 dunk. all for now but next week newcomers FC Bayern Munich will host the back-to-back -back champions of Olympiakos Pireus Thursday at the Audi Dome in their first ever game of the week. Don't miss it. Presented by Turkish Airlines, Spalding, and Intersport.